Hey guys, in today's video, I'm going to be going over five things that people waste money on. Now, of course, there are many things that people waste money on, including myself, um, every day, every month, every year. But these are just five things that I wanted to review and discuss with you in today's video. So number one is lottery tickets. Now, I must admit, when the lottery gets up to around $800, $900 million, I think it gets that high, I'll actually go out and I'll buy a few tickets. I'm guilty of doing that. But I'm not doing that every day, every week, uh, buying tickets and the hopes to win. Now, you know everyone says you have more chance of being struck by lightning in the same spot twice before winning the lottery. But I know many people who play the lottery almost every day of the week. And as you can imagine, just over time, that actually adds up to a lot of money that you could be using to build your savings account or to actually invest in stocks. So just say no to lottery tickets. Number two on the list is gonna be extended warranties. Now I never purchase extended warranty when I uh, buy an item. And that's mainly because the, uh, the item will typically come with uh, the manufacturer's warranty that may go up to uh, 12 months from the date of purchase. And oftentimes, the extended warranty may not even cover um, the issue that may arise with your product. So that investment that you made in that extended warranty may have zero financial return. Number three is going to be paying for a satellite, cable, things of that nature. Now, up until about five or six years ago, I had cable, I had the ultimate package, I was paying $225 a month. And I did this for several years. And the one thing that I noticed was one, outside of it being very expensive to have that service and a box in three different rooms in my house, I wasn't watching as much TV as I thought that I was. I would often DVR, yes, DVR, I'm dating myself a little bit, but I would DVR or record a show and I would never get to it. I was busy with life, I was busy with kids, I was busy with work, I was busy with travel, I was busy with just life. So I was paying a large monthly fee for a service that I didn't utilize. So I cut the cord about five or six years ago and I have Netflix, I have Hulu, I've got a few other um, apps and I pay about $40 a month for uh, my cable slash TV services and I, and I have never looked back. So that's the third item on the list that I think that you could take a look at to see if that's something, do you, do you really need that? Do you really need the cable? Can you scale it back? Can you get something just like the Discovery Channel app or Disney Plus if you have kids? So that is the third thing on the list that I think people waste money on. Number four is going to be on unused gym memberships. Now, those that know me know that I do have a home gym in my garage and I use it quite often. But there was a time where I had gym membership and I didn't go, right? So I was being charged up to $30 a month for a service that I wasn't using. So I think if you really take a hard look um, at, your, at your habits and if you're actually utilizing it, you may want to cancel that because I know that there are some gyms out there that charge $50, $60 a month uh, for their membership. And if you're not gonna be utilizing it, then I think that that's something that you could cancel and save yourself some money. And the fifth item, which I think is the biggest item on the list, is credit card interest. Now I can tell you, I haven't paid interest on a credit card in 15 plus years. And the way that I've been able to do this is that I pay my statement balance in full every month. Now when you get your statement on your credit card, you'll notice that there'll be two different charges on there. You'll have your actual balance, and then you'll have your statement balance. The amount that you see on your statement balance is the amount that's subject to interest during that cycle of your credit card payment. So what you wanna make sure that you're doing to avoid paying interest on your credit card is you wanna be paying that statement balance in full every month. And if you do that, you'll be able to utilize the bank's money for 24 to 28 days until your, your bill cycles out, without ever paying interest on a credit card. All right, guys, that's it. Five things that people waste money on. 
hopefully uh, this information was helpful for you and hopefully it's something that you can implement in, in your daily life. Um, if this video has been helpful for you, I'd appreciate a like and, and comment down below some of the things that you think um, are things that people waste money on. Be interested to hear what, what you guys have to say about that. Thanks. See you next video.